Hey, what's up guys? M here and I'm finally back with another video and today I've decided to start my first official series on this channel where I will post like consistent types of video like how do I word this? Future M here is um, interrupting this special program just to apologize for how she can't explain things very well but I hope you understand without what she's saying. Um, anyways, back to the program. I will post videos that are consistently about the same topic maybe every month, every couple of weeks, I'm not sure. It all depends on my schedule and like, yeah. So basically, um, a few weeks ago, maybe a couple months ago actually, I posted this video right there or wherever it will be where I tried some random candy in my house, Asian candies, and they're pretty good. So basically for this series, I think I'm going to try and rate different Asian candies, snacks, ice creams, whatever, drinks even, you know, all those good stuff. And for episode one of this series, um, I got something pretty special I wanted to try for this channel. And it's lunchtime, and I'm pretty fucking hungry, so let's go down to my kitchen and go do that. Because for this particular item, I don't want to get met. It's, it can be kind of messy, and I don't want it to get anywhere in my room, you know. Cause I'm not an animal. Anyways, let's go do that. And I'm in my kitchen. Um, I apologize, the audio is not great. This is the first time I'm recording outside of my room. So yeah, we'll see. I, it's probably echoey and I, I, I truly apologize, but I don't want to make a mess in my room. So I guess I should introduce what I'm going to eat for you today. So to give a, some sort of premise, uh, like, a new Asian store opened near my house and and I follow the store on Instagram and they've been posting this particular treat um, consistently <laughs> and it really inspired me to try this. And I was gonna go to the store and, and like maybe vlog the experience as I bought it, but unfortunately my parents went without me <laughs> for some reason, I don't know, they went spontaneously the other day and they bought it. So it's in my freezer and I'm going to show it to you right now. Okay. So, this particular treat is this. It's a black sugar boba milk ice cream bar. Hashtag not sponsored. Um, I've heard that I've heard that these things are pretty good and people on the store's Instagram also say it's pretty good. So yeah, I think I'll give it a try and post it on the channel. Let me open this box. Okay. Okay, okay, don't open a box like this. It looks awful. Anyways, here's the package. Looks pretty good, I would say. Go look at it. Will I eat all of it on camera for you guys? Mayhaps. I apologize I keep looking over here. Cause I'm looking at me, I need to look over there. <sighs> oh, it's kind of stuck. I got a napkin, of course. Um, it's kind of stuck. I think cause it kind of melted when they, when they bought it. So hang on, here's the bar. Um, I don't know how it looks actually pretty. It's very pretty. So yeah, I've, ha I've had boba drinks like this a couple of times and they're all right. So I think ice cream would be also pretty good. Can you see it all right? I hope so. I hope you can see me good. So yeah, I guess I should get started. Initial licks are, all right, it's cold because it's ice cream. It's been in the freezer. I can kind of taste brown sugarness of it. Oh. Oh, it's softer than I thought, which is good. Okay, good, because I think if it, since it's easier to bite, I, I think I'll be able to eat it all on camera for you guys and give a better review on it. <laughs> it's actually pretty good. I'm liking this a lot. <laughs> it's also probably because I'm very hungry. This is an appetizer to my lunch, because I'm probably going to eat something after this that's not ice cream. But you know, I'm an adult, guys, so I can have ice cream when I want. Yeah, I don't know if you can see it. I think it has like vanilla ice cream. It's like layered. Oh, it's black sugar. I think I said it was brown sugar. Is this entertaining for you guys? Is it entertaining? I'm about halfway done. I think I'm doing pretty well. Yeah. My, mom, my parents told me that these were kind of expensive and they were on sale, but they were still kind of expensive. But now that I'm eating it, I think it's 
pretty worth the price. It's pretty good. It's actually like delicious. Hmm. What about boba? If this is a whole new th game, what? What? This is a whole new thing, guys. Like, there's boba in there. Like, well, the fact that they added boba adds extra points. It's a shame that there's only four of these in the box. I would have put like six, but I guess it makes you go back and buy some more. Okay, I've, I've reached the stick, so I think I want to eat around the stick. I don't know how I'm gonna tell you guys my game plan of how to eat a popsicle bar thing, but it's I'm just giving my commentary and I don't want it to drip everywhere. I just ate the second boba. Yes. So I think there's only two bobas in there. I think I would have appreciated a couple more boba, like six total, four maybe. Between four and six, I think would have been ideal boba distribution in the whole bar. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want to have it every bite, but I think I would have enjoyed it a tiny bit more if there was boba in more than just two bites. You know what I'm saying? Don't get me wrong, this is still pretty fucking delicious. So I'm not complaining. I'm just giving some random nitpick that I have for it. There's a slight aftertaste that I'm really digging. I'm not sure what it is. Maybe it's the black sugar or something. I'm not sure. Or maybe it's other boba. Okay, there's more than two bobas. Great. <laughs> and they put the boba towards the bottom, which is interesting. I'm towards the final bites, guys. I ate this under 10 minutes. That's not bad. I'll wait five. I'm not, not that it's a competition, but whatever. Okay, I want to make this video relate to anime in some way. So you know how in anime, in some animes when they get the popsicle stick and then they have like on the stick if they're gonna have good luck or bad luck or some kind of like joke or pun. I was kind of hoping that this would have that. That's very random, I know, but I was just kind of hoping that on the bar, on the bar, on the stick, that they would have some kind of saying like, have a nice day, you know? Cause it's pretty good, I think, I don't, whatever. And it is finally finished. So, yeah. So I'm gonna go throw this away and I'll go back up to my room and I'll give my final ranking and review. Here we go. I, I don't know what that was. So I totally didn't just record my outro segment and the mic wasn't recording. That totally didn't just happen. Um, but yeah, so yeah, that was my blind tasting of the boba black sugar ice cream bar thing. Yeah, I should have totally remember the name. But anyways, so I have decided to rank the stuff I try by their looks, quality, taste. And then I'll tally up all the numbers and then by the average, I'll get my final score. My final score will be basically saying what out of 10 would I recommend, if I would recommend it to people and if I would buy it again, basically. So for the looks of it, it was very, very colorful. It's, it's brown and white, but it's still aesthetically pleasing. And based on those things, I decided to give it an eight out of 10. Quality, so the quality, I think since it's on the expensive side, I guess that means it's more the quality of it is better than other ice creams. Even though I'm not very picky about ice creams I eat, I guess I can see that the quality difference is there because there were like different aftertastes that I liked a lot. So I, I think I'll give the quality of it an 8 out of 10. I mean, it's not the most fanciest ice cream, but it's still pretty fancy. Um, okay. And for taste, I was considering giving it a 10 out of 10, considering how my first impressions of it, I was like very impressed and it basically exceeded my expectations, but I don't think I want to give it a 10 out of 10 because of that one, that one thing I wanted, more boba. And based off that tiny nitpick, I decided to give it a 9.5 out of 10. Future I'm here again, and I just wanted to clarify that when I did have the ice cream again, there were indeed more boba in comparison to the one I had in the video. And after some thought, my score still stands. Anyways, back to wherever I am in the video editing. Um, I know, it's not a perfect score, but it's still really good. And I think it deserves a score like that. So, time to tally up. And I got an 8.5 out of 10 
for if I would recommend it to people and if I would buy it again. So yes, 8.5 out of 10 would recommend slash would buy it again. Yeah, so this was episode one of insert title here. I haven't decided the title of the series yet. So um, the title of the series will probably be the title of the video when I post it. Anyways, give a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.